Welcome back to the YouTube channel, it's your boy Mr. Ghana baby and I'm back again with another video. I know it's the second time you're seeing this face on your screen today. I'm back again with another video. I'm not going to take so much of your time. I'm just going to spend five minutes for this video. I mean, if you really understand the China-Africa relationship, you will know that there is nothing like accountability, there is nothing like transparency, and there is nothing like mutual respect. I'm always for what? Actions. Enough of the talking two weeks ago africans were more treated in guangzhou china i'm not saying all africans some africans were more treated some were kicked out of their houses some were not allowed to enter shops some were not even allowed to go to the hospital and when this issue broke out on the internet china came out to say that the people that were treated that way where the illegal immigrant which means that these people don't have legal document but i personally talked to so many of them that have legal document living in china but they were kicked out of their houses so after this story broke out nigerian lawmakers reacted maltreatment discrimination and xenophobic attack against nigerians in the public republic of china people's republic of china two all the ministry of foreign affairs and all relevant ministries departments and agencies to as a matter of urgency ensure that all nigerians who wish to return home including nigerians that only visited for business nigerians with any form of travel documents and identification nigerians with passport but expired visas nigerians with passport and valid visas who have been ejected by house owners nigerians who have tested negative to covid 19 are evacuated for, from china and quarantined upon arrival three the House also urged the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, the, Fe the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and all relevant ministries, departments and agencies to provide all necessary financial and other assistance to affected Nigerian citizens in China who wish to seek redress in any local or international court for breach of fundamental rights, loss of property, or any other actionable cause occasioned by this maltreatment or discrimination in China. The House resolved also to mandate the committees on interior, Nigerian content development and monitoring and commerce to investigate the Nigerian Immigration Corporate Affairs Commission, Nigerian Content and Development Monitoring Board. I take that again. Mandate the committees on interior, local content and commerce to investigate the Nigerian Immigration Corporate Affairs Commission, Nigerian Content and Development Monitoring Board and any other relevant ministry, department or agency to check the validity of all immigration documents of every Chinese person in Nigeria and the expatriate quota of all the Chinese businesses in Nigeria to ascertain the number of illegal and undocumented Chinese immigrants in Nigeria. And to report back in four weeks. Like I always say, deeds not words. Thank you so much for honoring your words I mean, after this, two Chinese men were arrested for doing illegal mining in Zamfara, the northern part of Nigeria. Like, I never knew Nigeria even have gold, but these people were busy digging for gold in the northern part of Nigeria. Whilst we are busy fighting coronavirus, they are busy stealing from us. And not just that, today, 17 of them, 17 Chinese men were arrested for what? illegal mining don't think that i hate china but we need to have a mutual respect between the two treat my own people the way you want me to treat your people it's simple as that you can't be evicting people from their houses you cannot prevent people from shopping you cannot prevent people from buying food and you come out and say that because they were living in the country illegal do you know how many chinese people are living in africa illegally and i always want to ask this question who are the people who takes them there Thank you so much, Nigerian police, for arresting the other 10 Nigerians that were involved in this illegal mining and also the local chief that was involved too. I mean, it's always our own people who help foreigners to steal from us because a foreigner cannot just come into your country and start stealing from you. 
I don't want to say anything again. Those two are going to say what am I has become an anti-China. Continue saying it. And I don't give a damn. So boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I am Maya.